Club. And in that same year, he won the Elvis Mania Festival in Cloverdale, British Columbia. Hotra, 50-50 puck, good save there by Gatto. Big rebound in front, it pops free. Another what reactionary save. save. Oh. Suleni through center, fanned on that pass. Here's Geike, quickly back into Prince George Ice. Jordan Geike, fighters, big rebound. Boxes. Wachtel, can't clear it, grab his steals in the slot area. Fires a shot, rebound, and Green's got that too. Off the stick of seven. Enzo Lawton, rink wide for Gravis. Now for Wiles, hold, snaps it in front, hit a skate in the blue crease. It's loose in front, they're jamming away at it, and oh, it's still man. there. Right. Enzo Lawton, rink wide for Gravis. Now for Wiles, hold, snaps it in front, hit a skate in the blue crease. It's loose in front, they're jamming away at it, oh, and it's still man. there. Like Verk with a nice move to the middle, but he couldn't get the shot away. Hunter McInnes, so that was close to going offside at the blue line. Sure was. Milburn delivers another good hit here. And here's Connor Dick, two on two. Right wing side, Dick holds, fires, just missed. Rebound in the crease area, and it went through the edges. Right wing side, Dick holds, fires, just missed. Rebound in the crease area, and it went through the edges. Right wing side, Dick holds, fires, just missed. Rebound in the crease area, and it went through the edges. Dick to recover the puck, and here's McIntosh through center for Chilliwack. Drifting up the left wing side now, McIntosh drives the goal in front, where is it? They're jamming away at it, the net's been dislodged, and somehow his pass hit the referee, but now the Spruce Kings coughed it up to Tucker Shedd, plays it in the crease mouth, Green's down, there it scores! Is. Ryder Green with traffic in front. It's a greasy one, but Chilliwack will take it. And it's none other than the captain, Mateo Mercik. His pass hit the referee, but now the Spruce Kings coughed it up to Tucker Shedd. Plays it in the crease mouth. Green's down and scores! Side making McKinnis ahead for Moran. Over the Prince George line. Now for Elfrey moving in on the backhand. Score! Doorstep. George line now for Elfrey moving in on the backhand. Scores! Her Dick, top of the right circle, finds McIntosh oh. and a nice shot into the webbing of Green who hangs on. Just out of the reach of Connor Dick and the Spruce Kings come out. Here's Dennis breaking down the left wing. Fires a shot. Stop though. It gets by Gatto and it's in. And the first shot of the third period for the Spruce Kings gets by Sebastian Gatto. Oh man, when you haven't seen rubber for quite some time, a first shot and it was a low hard one. And it's off the stick of Vital Dennis. And with 4.29 to go here in the third, Prince George is tied at a two. Yeah, that's a tough one. You see it just beat Sebastian right between the legs, right between the, the pads and just slips through the wickets. Man, that's a tough one for Gatto, no doubt about that. And here's Mercik gathering speed through center into the attacking zone. Heels off, drops it off, McIntosh. In front, Sirachi fires, great save! Now he finds Sirachi on the backhand, twists and turns it back in the middle, and no. Malhotra lays. Here's Nico Grabis through center on the left side over the Prince George line, moving in on goal. Grabis to the backhand, and up going. Kerchik, and now finally pops free to Veilleux. Spruce Kings trying to hustle up the edge, trying to make it a two on one. 
Feu moving in on the right side to the right and a stop there by Gatto and he's down on his belly and he gets a whistle. Puck striding down the left wing side with a drive. Dakota McIntosh rebound Moran couldn't get it to go. Loose puck Moran steals it now McIntosh in front. Oh what a diving effort there by Lyndon McCoe. Stays in the attacking zone here. McIntosh is dragged down to the ice and there's no call. Moran though has got Campbell going to the front of the net. Moran high slot turns Ooh. and fires and it's into the netting. Not sure if it caught a stick and rode high. Chiefs are circling here in the attacking zone. Malhotra holds. Now for Verk moving in. Fires a oh, shot. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Oh, he hit zone. Malhotra holds. Now for Verk moving in. Fires a oh, shot. He hit the crossbar. Oh, he hit. Now for Verk moving in. Fires a oh, shot. He hit the crossbar. Oh, he hit the bar. Schrott right up the middle. Skating to the right wing side over the line. Schrott moving in on goal using his edges. Big rebound. Here's a shot. Scores. Gatto was down. Pearchick gets the goal. And the Chiefs won a video review here because they think there was goaltender interference. And yes, they will go to the review. They certainly will. And here's the replay here as Schrott carries it up the ice on the right wing side. Gatto down. If it stands, it's Herchik's first career BCHL goal. And it would come at the 624 mark of overtime. Referees have their decision, and this game is over. And the Spruce Kings win it in overtime. 3 to the final. And they'll pour off the bench in jubilation right to their goaltender Ryder Green because there is no doubt who the number one star in this hockey game was and that is Ryder Green 40 saves on 42 Chilliwack shots they were throwing everything at him they were coming in waves yeah there's nothing there Bonnie there, there is certainly no goaltender in inter interference and Gatto Giovanni it was his right leg his right leg just kind of swept out from underneath him. He was in the butterfly and then just swept out from underneath him. That sends him on his back. And he just wasn't able to make the save in position after he was kind of down and out. No doubt about it. There, there's, there's no goaltender interference. That, that's a good goal. Brian Maloney wants an explanation from the officials, but this one is in the books. And the Chiefs will have to wait another night to get their first win of the 24-25 season. You can see there that right leg, Bonnie. Obviously, the goaltenders always have their pads flat on the ice. Watch Gatto's right leg. It turns over. Watch his right leg. It turns over right there. See how it's yep. his toe is up now? Now, yep. there could have been some contact there. There's no doubt about that. I think that's what Robbie Snooks is getting at as the producer here for us or for the Win Media. And it's a great job him running the back for us there. That's a really good look at. But it's that right leg, the toe that got pointed up, the toes in the air. And then he just wasn't able to get leverage to get back up in time and make a scramble play. And 